Hey folks, Tom Norfleet with www.citizenshipquickly.com. This is our fifth part series on second citizenship, second passports. We'll be talking about the naturalization process with certain countries and also the ancestry option with certain countries also today. We're going to start by talking about Canada. Uh, Canada's got a very predictable um, timetable like the economic citizenship programs in the Caribbean for getting its passport and citizenship but the promptness they give to you to get you know your passport there they also enforce on you because they have real strict residency requirements that if you do not stick to them you won't get the passport two of the most popular programs in canada are the manitoba entrepreneur program and the quebec investor visa program in order to be considered for the manitoba entrepreneur pathway all potential applicants must demonstrate a minimum net worth of Canadian dollars, 500,000. An entrepreneur must present a minimum Canadian, uh, 250,000 Canadian dollars in the Manitoba capital region or 150,000 in rural Manitoba to be considered eligible to apply. Citizenship will come in about five years. This is the lowest requirement investment into an entrepreneur program currently being offered in Canada today. Canada also has a Quebec investor visa program with the following guidelines. You must invest 1.2 million Canadian dollars into a Canadian government bond that gets zero interest for five years and or a, a Canadian bank can finance that lump sum for you and then you pay a lump sum of the finance charge up front to the bank and then they'll actually fund the funds for you. Uh, you. Number two is you must have a net worth of two million Canadian dollars, and they're real strict on uh, enforcing that. They'll check that out real good. Process, process in time, number three, process in time before you uh, even getting the visa is 10 to 14 months, and there's a limit of 1,900 applicants per year unless you speak French. Uh, also, you must have management experience in public or private sector uh, in the last two out of the last five years. You must be physically present in Canada 146 days a year and in Canada uh, 730 days in a five-year period. Citizenship can be accomplished in about five years with this option. Canada will also tax you heavily on your worldwide income until you get the passport at the rate of around 50%, which includes the federal tax and the provincial tax. On top of this high tax rate, Canada uh, has also um, several types of sales taxes that they levy. Uh, these are the provincial sales tax, which they abbreviate, they call it the PST tax, uh, levied by the provinces themselves and a goods and services tax, which is called the GST. And then they have what's called a harmonized tax, which is called the HST tax. It's a value added tax levied by the federal government, which amounts to these, uh, these taxes amount to, depending on the pro uh, province you're in, to around 15% of whatever you're spending. And that's on top of your 50% uh, income tax from all sources. So. Uh, uh, this is something you have to consider when you're getting a passport there. If you're a tax hater, I wouldn't go this route. Uh, as you can see, Canada does not like you to keep much of your money. Uh, if you're trying to get out of the USA because of high taxes, don't go to Canada because it's a lot worse. Uh, if you don't mind getting heavily taxed for five years and getting the passport and then leaving, uh, this might be a, an option for you. Um, uh, because, I mean, it does have a very good visa-free travel document. Uh, Singapore is another example. Uh, Singapore and Japan have uh, tied for 2019 as having the best uh, travel documents, passports in the world, as far as visa-free travel and uh, visa-free travel on, on arrival uh, or visa-free before you arrive. Uh, you can travel to 189 countries that you can travel to, but uh, neither of the uh, countries allow dual citizenship. This is a big problem, that I'll, and this is one reason I would not go with those countries because of that. Only 10 years uh, ago, getting citizenship in Singapore was pretty easy, but locals got upset with this because it raised the price of real estate through the roof, and, um, uh, and the laws were changed. Uh, you could have applied for citizenship after permanently re residing in Singapore only after about two years back then. 
Uh, I think it's a bad policy to get citizenship in any country that doesn't allow dual citizenship. Uh, one of the best investors that I ever that actually ever lived is a guy by the name of Jimmy Rogers. And he lives in Singapore now, and he's lived there for many years, but has chosen not to get citizenship in Singapore because of this uh, reason that you can't get uh, dual citizenship. Singapore doesn't allow it, and uh, he doesn't like that, and I agree with him. I think uh, it's a good, good reasoning. Uh, Singapore does have a great territorial tax system. They have a maximum tax rate for 2019 at 22% for income generated in Singapore for individuals. Uh, this is a good place to get residency, very clean and almost uh, everyone speaks English. Uh, it is the most expensive place in the world to own a car, but you really don't need one there with the great metro system there. Uh, let's talk about Ireland, which is another uh, country that has good visa free travel. You can qualify for Irish citizenship by having a net worth of 2 million uh, euros and investing at least 1 million euros in a business. Uh, that is either uh, either a new business or an existing business that is in Ireland and it creates jobs in Ireland. Uh, and this is one thing you're going to have to consider if you don't need employees. That's a cost. Uh, compare that cost with getting, you know, in, ha hiring employees to get economic citizenship in the Caribbean. You might find out that the hiring employees is a lot more expensive than. Uh, uh, invest in, uh, in an economic citizenship program and getting your passport in four months in the Caribbean. Uh, another way is to invest, like I said, uh, uh, two million euros uh, in one or several real estate investment trusts that are publicly traded in Ireland. That's another option you can go on. Uh, another option is to invest at least one million euros into an investment fund uh, that is not publicly traded. And this is another option you can go with Ireland. Uh, the Ireland Im Immigration Investor, uh, Investor Program is officially a residency program. It's not a citizenship by investment program. Nonetheless, participants are entitled to apply for our citizenship on the same terms as anyone else. And a resident permit can assist uh, immigrant investors in meeting the residency requirement for Irish citizenship. To be eligible to apply for our citizenship by investment, Immigrant investors must have been resident in Ireland for at least 12 months immediately prior to their application date, and they must have been resident in Ireland for four of the immediately preceding five years prior to their application date. For citizenship eligibility purposes, uh, residency requires an actual physical presence in the country, although a person can still be considered a resident of Ireland if they leave from time to time for business trips or vacations. Candidates must spend most of their time in a given year physically present in Ireland in order to be considered a resident of Ireland for that year. One note, Ireland has one of the highest suicide rates in the world and one reason is it's, uh, it has probably one of the worst weather of any place I've ever visited on planet Earth. Uh, I like the Caribbean weather myself better. All year round weather is a lot better and uh, but you know maybe your requirements are different you know everybody's different in the way they think uh, the fourth way of getting citizenship uh, other than naturalization is the ancestry option uh, i'll go over the countries that qualify for this option but i must warn you that the statutory requirements to get citizenship this way it's not re quick regardless of what you've heard otherwise and since uh, you're not investing money these, into these countries as a requirement to get the citizenship and passport. Going with this option can take a lot longer than what is published by the immigration department. But if you need to get help, you know, getting this done, our company can assist you in this process. Uh, let's go over the options available. Let's look at uh, Ireland. Ireland has a uh, ancestry option. Even if you were not born in Ireland, you are still eligible for our citizenship if one of your grandparents was born on the uh, island or was an Irish citizen at the time of your birth, according to the Irish Foreign Ministry. In order to get a passport, you have to apply for foreign uh, birth registration, which can take up to a year to process. Uh, you, you probably should wait, you know, you can't no longer because uh, the, these, these processes don't work like the, they typically advertise. Uh, United Kingdom is another uh, program that has an ancestry option. 
applying for British citizenship through a grandparent is a three-step process that takes several years. If you can prove one of your grandparents was born in the UK, you first have to apply for a UK ancestry visa, which allows you to stay in the country for five years. After those five years, you can then apply for permanent settlement or indefinite leave to remain. Once you have had that status for a year, you can apply for citizenship. All right, let's look at Ireland. Ireland is another country that has an ancestry option. In Italy, descendants of Italian citizens are often eligible to become citizens themselves. And there is no limit on how many generations ago your ancestors left the country as long as they maintain their own Italian citizenship until they had kids of their own, according to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of Italy. You can prove this lineage through things like birth uh, and marriage certificates, and you need to be proficient in Italian. Uh, in other words, if, you're, if you don't know Italian, just forget it, or if you're not willing to learn it. Spain is another country that has this ancestry option. You can apply for Spanish citizenship if one of your grandparents was originally Spanish themselves, according to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, European Union, and Cooperation of Spain. But in order to do this, you have to first live in Spain legally for one year and be proficient in Spanish. Most of these countries uh, are going to make you learn the language uh, you know, to get the citizenship. Hungary is another one that has an ancestry option. Hun Hungary considers most people with Hungarian grandparents to be Hungarian citizens. So all you have to do is apply to verify your citizenship. Lithuania is another one that has the ancestry option. You may be eligible to obtain Lithuanian citizenship if one of your grandparents or great-grandparents who had citizenship before 1940 left Lithuania before 1990 or was a deportee or political prisoner. In order to prove this lineage, you have to submit things like birth certificates uh, or um, documents concerning studies or work prior to 1940. Um, Folks, if you got a question or comment, shoot it below. I'll do whatever I can to help you out there. Uh, also, if you hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen, you'll get new videos automatically as soon as they come out. And again, folks, if you're uh, thinking about doing this, uh, make the move to do something. Whether it's through our company, some other company, make the move to do it because what you're doing is you're paying high taxes every year. Look at those figures of the last 10 years, what you've paid in taxes. Uh, if you pay a company to do this, whether it's our company or some other, some other company, uh, as long as they're giving you proficient knowledge, uh, you know, if you deal with us, we'll work with you. If you deal with somebody else, that's fine too. But you're paying that fee one time. And uh, taxes is every year. And if you add up what you paid over the last 10 years, it's probably a fortune. Uh, get something done. Look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care. Bye.